Hello peeps, welcome back to the next installment of the Euro Demo series. This is Euro Demo 49. And I don't know if you heard that, but there was a noise next door. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, reading on the disc cover, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Ten, well, ten things actually. So, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. What's going on with the quality of these things? Oh, it's moving it on. I don't know, it's just me. Maybe it looks better on the video. I don't know. Um, it's noticed there's been a bit of a degrading in the uh, quality. It seems a lot more pixely for some reason. Other discs don't. Look strange, but hey, never mind. A Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, Evil Zone, Rat Attack, Speed Freaks, Tekken 3, Pattern of Earth, Tekken 3 again. Tony Hawk Skateboarding, Oh Jamalami, Net Yaros, which uh, on the disc it's Tanks with an X and Decaying Orbit. And then we got this football video, and that's it. So let's get started. Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Yeah, I noticed the interfaces were getting a little bit more pixely. I noticed the quality was beginning to degrade on them. I don't know if that's a normal thing. I don't know, but... Yeah. Behaviour Interactive. Today's hunt is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what's up, dog? Wabbit, Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. The Stone Age. Oh, lovely. So that's how you move, that's how you kick, jump, circle. That makes you tiptoe. That's a first person view, that's pretty cool. Okay. That move, ah, nice, moving cameras, nice. Let's get these carrots. Mmm. It seems that rocks can be moved. Oh, can they? Oh, cool. Okay. How do we move them then? Oh, I was just doing it. Oh, R1. I think. Wait. R1. Uh -huh. There we go. What's up here then? Oh. Golden carrot. What do they do then? Oh, it's an anvil, lovely. Bastard. How'd you kill him? Ah, oh, screw ya. Oh god, how do you get in that hole? R1 again? Oh, okay. So R1 interacts, clearly. What's that over there? Is that a timer? What's a timer? What the hell? Oh, okay. Great! Great? Ow. Can I cause his damage? Don't do that. Okay, how am I supposed to get up there? Oh, okay. I see. Okay, I made that. What the hell? Oh, God. This is one of those games that I can't play, isn't it? And it's a bloody kid's game. It's Looney Tunes, for God's sake. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Oh, screw it. Yes. Uh, I'll have to 
wait for him to come back up. Oh, he's back. Hello. Good to see you again. Right. Great! Oh, I jumped off by mistake. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Really? Ah. Oh. Hello. What? I didn't jump off. That was automatic. That was not me. That was a bit weird. I did that without me there. Where are we going exactly? Maybe I did have to go up there. Oh, let me try and get up there again. Oh yeah, look, I can see there's a bridge there. Uh, checkpoint. Not bad. I should have stayed there the entire time, shouldn't I? Bollocks to it. Some weird shit happened in this game, I swear. Mm. Oh, golden carrot. Hint. Wait, what? Hint. That's what it's Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? Is there an also jump in this game or something? Because I'm not jumping when I'm going towards it and it jumps for me. I promise you that it's not me doing that. Bastard. Don't go. Turn. Oh, there. Okay, you can't attack. I don't think. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, go away. Right. Come here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, careful. Oh, for fuck's sake. Welcome to another episode of Ben's poor gameplay. Um, Jesus. I can't even play a children's game, this is bad. I suppose I'm not a kid anymore, so. I don't know. I already see you guys thinking at home, so how the fuck is he bad at this? <laughs> fuck him off. Go. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. This is appalling from me. But I will finish this demo. I don't know how long there is, but... Haha! <laughs> <laughs> right. On the dinosaur. Up here. Jump. Rotate camera. Jump. That, uh, yeah, I did not jump there. That was definitely not me jumping there. Yes, finally. There we go. Can I get up there? Over 
go. Ow. <laughs> I've, I've out. I've... Okay. You killed me. Not nice, is it? Right, so what I need to do is I need to bounce. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> No, don't fall off, please. I, I, I have no words. I'm. You saw that? Surely, I'm jumping, and it's not. Come here. Stone Age loading. Blimey, that was abysmal gameplay for me, wasn't it? Okay, where are we now? So I got carrots, mate, so you're all good. Bye bye. Wasn't that behind here? Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Bollocks. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, I think. Yeah. Great! I've got five of those things. I reckon they'll probably do something at the end or something, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Or they're just collectibles or something in the actual game, but obviously I haven't got the actual game, so. Is that the end of the level? Um, hey, let go! Hey! Let me go! Oh, thanks. Do I have to wait? Is there something about that crow or something? What? Okay, so I guess I don't want to get alerted by that thing. Question mark. What have I got to do? Wait for him to go. What have I got to do? Wait for him to go somewhere else? Wait for him to go somewhere else? Oh. Oh, I've forgotten. There's a sneak ability, isn't there? Oh, how, how did he do it again? Wait. Yes, holding circle. Why are you going to go to sleep? Yeah. I'm going to go for this.
Ray. Oh, hello. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> you wabbit. <laughs> hello. Hey. Oh, that was a boss fight. Ah. Bye, mate. You rabbit. Ouch! Ah, so you do kick him then. Okay, one idea. Ow. That's it, okay. That was Bugs Bunny lost in time. Bloody hell, that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh well. Makes for funny content though, doesn't it? It's <laughs> painful. You can watch me painfully die. Oh dear. Explore five exiting time periods. Classic game though. Bugs Bunny. Classic. Oh, I think it froze. Uh-oh. Did it? No. Okay. Maybe it's still... Oh, okay, there you go. Took a long time for it to exit the game. Okay, what's next? Evil Zone. This one we have to reset. Future media creators, Ukes. Titus, or Titus, Blue Sky. Mm. A own story. Uh, story. But did this not work? What the? I did. What? Let's try again. Also, I don't have to reset because it took me back to the main menu, so. And I disproved that message straight away, didn't it? 
What's that about? Why does that not work? This could actually be the first thing that doesn't work in a very long time. Because everything we've played, like the very vast majority of games that we played on these Euro demos have worked just fine. Dude, he's done it again. Uh oh. Let me try pressing select. Select. Start select. No, I don't think this works. I might have to do a reset on the disc. If it, if it quits again, I'm going to do a reset. And yeah, I think it's just done it again, isn't it? Yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to reset the disc um, and try one more time. If this doesn't work, then, uh, well, we're going to have to skip, aren't we? And that's actually really sad because that's the first thing that hasn't worked on a demo disc for a very long time. And I might be wrong, but I think Euro Demo 9 or 7 was the last thing that something doesn't work. So that was nearly 40 issues ago. I could be wrong, though. I think that it might have happened sooner. I will have to fact check that one. But last I can remember that I reset something was on Euro Demo 7. Right, Evil Zone, last attempt. Um, if this doesn't work, we'll have to skip. And that's a real shame. Come on, third time lucky. Titus presents Blue Sky Software. Ah, there we go. Works now. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? It loaded up the menu. Dude! Evil oh, It did something, so I want to sit check again. It's the fourth time booting it up. Something is wrong with this demo, I think. I don't know what it is, but... Because I hit X and then it ended. I hit versus mode. Right. Okay. Right, story. Okay, who can we be? Uh, let's be you. Objective understood. New program. Special Inspector Danzibar was summoned to the strange world of Iperseru to rescue his partner Yuri, who is stuck in the evil zone. Denzaba decides to battle with Ihadoka, who okay. exists simultaneously in multiple dimensions. But someone wants to stop him. Who could it be? A new program starting next week will feature Denzaba, the ultimate hero. Episode 1, The Power of the Supreme Ruler to Destroy an Evil. Zeruchaku Denzaba. Entry of Magician, Alti Al-Lazal, and Danzai Burst. Okay. Why are you here? You called me out for your own convenience, but didn't you come to stop me? I'm not going to give you any excuses. After all, I don't think it's right to make people of different worlds fight against Ihadulka. Therefore, do you dare to stop us? Then stop us! The power of a supreme ruler destroys evil! The ultimate hero, Danzaiba! Get them! Go! It's a fine game. Yes. Yes. I'm not what? easy! Yes. 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 
Not yet! the magic spear! I can't actually attack him. Ah, uh, sorry. Not yet! I'm not making an attack. Can you please respond to my input? Yeah. Fine, I've got a hit. Damn! What the fuck? I don't think that works properly, dude. I generally don't think that works properly. Because I was pressing every button under the belt and it was doing absolutely nothing. Whatever. Rat attack. Whether I was doing something wrong, I have no idea, but literally every button I pressed didn't seem like it was doing anything. It just made him freeze in place. Oh, hello. What was that power line logo? Is there something wrong with this disc or something? No, okay. Options. Okay, nothing there. Long clip. We'll go Jack of all trades, just in case. House. I guess we'll go house. Ah. Place cheese. I, I, I didn't get to read that enough. Ready to save the world again, scratch that yeah, good, because even we some space grass, Washington and Jefferson have returned from exile to the main matters for a special agent pearl has gone missing, they could eradicate to start smashing the rodent menace of fire pearl. Remember when you trap the rats of your eradicator. Walk over the destructor to finally destroy them. Okay. Right, catch five mouse. Or rats. Oh, that one. Okay. Hold down the eradicator button to lay your back. Life's lost. What are the, what's the controls again? Catch 14 mice, okay. They're rats, they're not mice. I'm forgetting. They look like mice. Oh, it's analog in it. Oh, <laughs> 
don't know if I won that, but it sounded like I lost a life, so maybe I ran out of lives, I don't know. But I don't know how I died. Okay. Speed Freaks. This is the game that I was talking about in the previous demo, the video. Um, I think it was last video. Yeah, it was. Um, this is the game that I was looking forward to playing, so this should be good. Was that, my, oh, that little kart racer, wasn't it? it looks like it. Yes, it is. Nice. Right, okay. Let's familiarise itself. So, boost, power slide. That's also power slide. Fire, that's fire. Steering. Right, okay. Yeah, very simple. Well, we're going to do a single race, obviously. Oh, that was character select. Well, I went with her, so yeah. get to finish the race? Ah, oh, that sucks. Because that just stopped as soon as I got onto the final lap. Hmm. That's a shame, isn't it? Lots of secret track paths. I found one of them, the boat. Or the shipwreck, I really should say. Hmm. What's next? Tekken 3 Platinum, a game that we can play and are good at. Oh, finally. We've also got Tony Hawk's as well, and the the, uh, the Net Eurose coming up. Oh, and Um Gemma Lamy.
and let the intro video play as we always as we always do. versus Paul. Hello, Paul. Round one. Fight! Oh. Here's the other work girl in a minute. Do one more round. Got ya. <clears throat> no, not KO. That was a... Yeah, right. No, I don't want... <sighs> okay, well at least we're playing someone else. Round one. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Look at that. You carried on beating him after round uh, two. No. Nice. You. That's another round. 
Right, we're gonna play as a girl this time. Make sure of it. There we go. And we're facing Eddie. Lovely. Round one. Okay. Fight. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not used to her. I don't know her combos, I like Eddie. I'm not having much luck with her. I can't seem to kick. Help! Do it! Time up! Round two, fight! I just don't know any of XIAU's moves. Yeah, no, I don't know any of them. Oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? <sighs> by the way, I start select there, by the way. Um, just so you know. That's why it suddenly went to black. Okay, what's next? Tony Hawk skateboarding. Never played a skateboarding game. So this is going to suck balls, I know for a fact. I can't play anything on this disc, I really can't. I've generally just had a really crappy run today, haven't I? And I've still got Um Jamma Lummy yet. <laughs> Ribbon Game, but then again, Ribbon Games I'm alright at, so that's alright. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. We'll be Tony Hawk because he's selectable, so. And isn't it the games after his name, so Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh. What are we gonna do? It'd be nice to get controls. Um What the hell? I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh no. This is going horribly. I, I did something. Can you do a grind? Ah, there you go. I'm doing something. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Donna! Oh, okay, I hit the wall. Oh, I've got a thousand points, so, you know, not doing too awful. Oh, yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ah. Oh, ah, I can't, okay, I've got to hang it out. Kind of. Indie nose bone. Oh, okay, I've got my legs in the process, but it's alright, it's all good. Go, please! No, okay. Flat on the floor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And up. Twist it round. 740. Look at that. Got 3,000 points now. It's like a little like, geezer getting inside over a game. 360 Ollie. Whatever that is. Heel flip. Okay. I don't know what tricks I am performing, but I must be doing something good. Last thing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's the same. Oh well, like 4,520 is probably shit, but you know, it's better than nothing. And I've got a few good tricks in there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the good thing I noticed that demo offered two players. That was alright. That was nice of them, wasn't it? And 499. 
So we're getting towards the end of the uh, 1999 discs. Oh, it's a, yeah, Star Select. If I'm not mistaken, next is Um Jamalami, right? Yeah, Um Jamalami. Seems like the second half of this video has been a lot better than the first half. The first half of this has been absolutely failing at everything. So. <laughs> then again, I have excuse for Evil Zone because Evil Zone didn't work properly. I am gonna have to read up on that. Na 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 Loading. It's a rhythm game. Very similar to Parappa the Rapper. Kick, boom, you remember. Chop, chop, back again. Yes, forever. You have many challenges coming at ya. Pass to the fire. Don't be tired now, pick. Ends just like that. Oh god, man. Net Yaros. So we've got two things on here. Uh, tanks and Decay in Orbit. Uh, that's what it says on the disc cover anyway, so... All right, I see what we. I uh, just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Tanks to begin, or Tank X, if you want to pronounce it that way. I don't mind. However, uh, four weeks. Stuart McDonald. Oh, and it's two player. Great. Okay. Let's. Get the two player ready. Okay. So this is tanks. So you can always see where each other is. Okay, so the shields are gone. So I assume he's over here, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay, well that that's tank it that 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 needs two players. So yeah. Decaying orbit. Hmm. 
over one year. Okay. An audio CD for background music. Pretty cool. Yeah. Instructions. Oh. So the object in each level. The object. Oh, okay. I know. I get it. Okay. The object in each level is to fly from your home planet and to land on the target planet. Your home is shown with the green triangles. The planet target planet is red. The most levels require you to destroy an enemy before. The target will open. Once open, you may land on the target to end the level. Controls. In digital mode, press X to thrust. If you use the analog controller, use the right stick controls thrust. Square fires. Oh, R1 if you use analog. Collect credits in which you can use to buy new systems for your ship. You will enter shops along the way where you can buy and sell items. Once you require them, you can have up to two extra systems, such as missiles or rockets. Okay. Well, I don't think we've been playing that long, so... Is that a level editor? Okay, that's respectable. You can put your own level on here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But anyway, let's go back to... Single player, single player. Things are not well in your war against the Leobek Empire. Calling their allies together, the Leobek have gained the upper hand. The combined might of five races is just too much. In a desperate move, your fleet is ordered to order deep into Sparge space. Sparge. Uh, since they are the largest suppliers to the Leobek, it is believed a strike at the Sparge factories would cripple production giving you time to regroup. Behind sparge lines, you are sent out on patrol. Enemy craft ambush you and your wingmen, destroying your comrades and leaving you for dead. Eventually, regaining navigation control, you return to your fleet to find it nothing but smoking wreckage. Your mission a failure, you have no choice but to sit out for home. Home. Okay, so I'm up here. Ah. Uh. <coughs> oh, shit. So I've got to aim for here, and I, if I learn correctly, I think you've got to land on the planet, like, slowly. Level completed. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Come back. Navigation system failure. Shit. Ow. Ow. It's a little bit hard on that. Navigation system failure. Damn it. Ah. Navigation system ah. Oh. 
up. I just bounced off our planet. Nice. No, go down. Yay, there you go, done it. We'll do one more level. Or you just crash. Nope. Crashed. It's crashed. Okay, well, we're going to have to reset. Damn it. I was going to do one more level when it crashed. <sighs> That's a shame. Alright, on to the last thing on the disc. I think it's, uh, this is football. It's not been a great demo, but it's not a bad demo either. So it's about average, I think. This is my gameplay today has sucked balls. That's <laughs> never mind. Yeah, okay. This is football video. So uh, next Euro demo is Euro demo fifty. Um, and honestly, I'm actually looking forward to doing that disc simply because it's got Wipeout free on it, and I can't wait to play that game again. And also, it's the 50th Hello, disc. This is Clyde Tilsley speaking to you live from Paris. With all those advertisements just makes it feel like a proper game, doesn't it? I miss the feeling of being blown away by this. That's a great challenge. I think my problem with football games is there's way too many of them. There's way too many football games back in the day. It's not really my cup of tea or genre. I'm honestly not a big football fan in the slightest. I don't even support any team outside of videos. Like, I don't support any team. Who's going to support a team? It'll be the F1. Or even basketball, for that I like basketball. Awesome animations. Save replays to your memory card. You want to find 26 player action. 26, bloody hell, but do they actually make a difference? That's the question. I probably would hope they do. Because if they actually did make a difference, and that's stat making back in the day, it's pretty damn neat. Stadium flag. Oh, okay, you can make your own flags. This game definitely was ahead of its time. Plays the ball down the middle, brings it under control, finds his man. Clive Tilsley as well, perfect. I mean, unique widescreen mode. Loads of hidden extras. Interesting. Okay. Back heels it. I swear that sound effect in the background came into Rocket League as well. We are blue. 
We are blue. I swear, that's in Rocket League. I recognise that sound effect. Pretty sure it is. But anyway, that was Eurodemo 49. So, um, yeah. Uh, not the greatest gameplay from me, so I do apologise on that. Um, but obviously, you know, like I say with all these demo videos, I don't take these games, like, seriously to the point where I'm here to, like, play seriously. Um, I'm here to have fun, and unfortunately, yeah, sometimes I am going to have good times where I suck at these demos. But obviously, people just need to realise as well that obviously, uh, this, this is the first time I'm playing these games in my entire life. So, like, um, cut me some slack. Other than maybe Tekken 3, um, I've played Tekken 3 quite a few times now, but, um, for the most part, most of the time when I do these demos, I am playing these games for the first time, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and also, we're just here to have a laugh as well, so you can laugh, um, um, if anything, the whole point I fail as well sometimes. I mean, it's just to make, it's just to make people laugh, isn't it? I mean, you watch me play absolutely awfully. Some people find it funny, some people think it's annoying, but, you know, it's completely up to you how you choose to perceive these. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, going through the disc, um, Bug Bunny Lost in Time, classic game. So, pretty cool. Uh, just a shame that I sucked at it. Shame about Evil Zone. Uh, Evil Zone did not seem like it was cooperating with me very well. Um, uh, Oom Jamalami, way too short of a demo. And it also actually seemed like I was getting penalised as well for um, hitting the notes on uh, like time. It seemed like he, I must have been hitting it too late, even though it was on screen, it looks like I was hitting it dead on. I don't know, a bit weird. Um, Tiny Horse Skateboarding, fun game. Rattack, fun game. Tanks would be interesting if I had a second player with me. Decaying Orbit, good thing. Speed Freaks was fun. As well, it's a shame I didn't get to finish the race though. It ended on lap 5, which sucks. Uh, fun football video, Platinum Tekken 3. I mean, goes well as always. It's just I don't know how to really used to gel so I don't really know Eddie's combos and stuff but I don't really know Exayu's ones just a bit mm. but there you go average demo I'd say um, obviously the interface is, I don't know about you guys but to me the, the interface is very pixely and I've noticed past interfaces definitely do not look as pixelated as this it's like they've got it's just like what I'd expect to see from 1995 but like this is like 1995 probably standard I'm really like 1999. I don't know. I don't know if you guys notice it, but I definitely notice it on my screen. Um, if you go back and look at other interfaces and compare it to this one, you'll kind of get what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, that's it from me. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye.